And we begin tonight with a big story out of Georgia. Former President Donald Trump booked and processed in a Georgia jail. The Fulton County Sheriff releasing the former president's mugshot earlier tonight. Trump, along with 18 others, now facing charges for their alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 election in Georgia. And let's get to Rob Darienzo, who is live for us in Atlanta. And Rob, an unprecedented day. I mean, we've seen a lot of firsts with this president, but now we're seeing a mugshot that will be forever cemented in the history of the United States. Uh, talk to me about the reaction you're getting. I know there are a lot of Trump allies and supporters outside that courthouse. How are they reacting to uh, the, the events that took place today? Hey, good evening to you guys both. Well, let me just say, watching the motorcade roll into the Fulton County Jail was almost surreal. Uh, but as you mentioned, the former president was booked and then released on that $200,000 bond, or uh, bond, I should say. And then meanwhile, out here, as you mentioned, there were a handful of Trump supporters, probably about 100, up the street on the other side of the jail uh, where the former president, uh, well, the opposite side of where the former president was uh, earlier today. This behind me is where he was brought in, but the bulk of the protesters, the bulk, bulk of the activity was over there. And as you mentioned a little while ago, we did get our first glimpse at the former president's mugshot. Take a look at this. He had on the same red tie and blue suit he had on when he got off the plane at Atlanta's Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. Mr. Trump spent about 20 minutes inside the jail facility where he was processed and that mug mugshot was taken. Jailers released the former president just after 8 p.m. Eastern time on that pre-agreed $200,000 bond. And as he boarded the plane, he called this a, quote, very sad day for America. Guys, Rob, wanted to ask you about the security presence there. No doubt a heavy security presence. Was it relatively peaceful throughout his time, you know, that transition into the Fulton County Jail as he was going through everything? Or what was the atmosphere out like there tonight? Well, I have to say, at one point in the afternoon, things locked down, not only in the jail, but in all the streets surrounding the jail. The roads were completely shut down. Nobody was allowed to come or go after those barricades were put in place. And then, of course, people in D.C. are familiar with the sight of the garbage trucks and the dump trucks. When we started seeing those pull up, we got the best indication that he was going to be coming in to this entrance. So everything remained very peaceful. As I mentioned, I don't think the former president actually had any face-to-face -face, um, interaction with any of his supporters who, again, were gathered on the other side of the jail. Uh, so everything remained peaceful. We did hear chants here and there. We did see a handful of people who were supportive of the former president's indictment, but everything, I think, went as smoothly as it could have gone in such an unprecedented day here in Atlanta. Rob, uh, the former president had a chance to speak to reporters. Uh, briefly, he said that he defended his, his rights to challenge an election. Uh, he said the same kind of narrative that he's been talking about uh, when it comes to not interfering with the election, that he was simply trying to challenge it. What did you hear from him tonight? Can you kind of summarize what we heard? Did we hear anything new from the president as he left that courthouse? Well, he didn't say anything as he left the jail here tonight. On the tarmac at Hartsfield Jackson, as he was boarding the plane, he did make a brief comment. Again, he called this a very sad day for America. He used a lot of those similar lines and similar language we've heard in his previous indictment. So needless to say, the former president is very displeased about the way, uh, the course of this indictment, how it played out. And you can see that expression on his face in that mugshot photo. Yeah, a picture that, again, will be a living in our, in our history books yeah, for a long time. No Rob Darienzo, thank you so much for that live report out of Atlanta tonight.